Good morning, guys. Today is Saturday. I don't remember the date. I don't know, like the 22nd. Yeah, the 22nd of January. And we're back out here at the farm. It is very cold. My car thermometer said it was 23. I think the high today is supposed to be 38. Sean says that, no, it's supposed to be a lot warmer. It's supposed to be 40. <laughs> That's not a lot warmer. Um, anyways, we're back out here at the farm and today is just gonna be a day of burning because that will keep us warm by the fire. Um, uh, Natalie and I just got here. Sean and I, or Sean and I, Sean and Bailey got here earlier this morning and he's gotten a fire started. So if you look right there, there's the fire that's being started and we're just kind of burning up a lot of the trees and stuff that has been, that have been cleared from, um, kind of just stuff that we've cleared and also stuff that they cleared as they were putting in the septic tank, which Sean says it's in. Yay. So I'm going to walk down there in a minute and just look at it. Not that you would ever really think that you'd be excited to go look at a septic tank, but I am. So, um, we're going to get started with that. I think Sean said that the, uh, guys that are going to be putting in the bathroom for us, I think he said that one of the guys is supposed to come and start with the plumbing and trying to get the pipes run and everything. So he's not here right now. And I think it's 10 o'clock. Um, so I don't know if he's either not coming or if he's coming later, but if he is, then the plan is for Sean to stay and kind of, um, work with him and watch him. Um, because Sean wants to get a little bit more experience with it. So, um, we're just going to get started. Um, or, I'm gonna get started and Natalie's gonna get started cleaning up the the brush and burning. And I hear cows, they're really close. So I, we've been known to have a cow or two um, travel over across the property lines and come onto on our property. So I keep wanting to see one. Um, and maybe if we close in the fence, then it is ours. I don't know. <laughs> um, Oh my gosh, they sound like they're right there. So, oh yeah, I can see, I see a cow on our property. So I'm gonna go down there and that's actually where the septic tank is too. So we're gonna go take a look. Come on. All right, here we are. We're walking to try to go and look at the septic tank and see the cow. I saw him through, oh yeah, it looks like the, um, they're trying to get the cow or something. I don't know. Cause there's a truck on our, on our field, in our field. Um, yeah, there's a truck in our field right now. So we will see what's going on. We can. Okay. So first let's look at the septic tank, which is over here. The, oh, this, by the way, this field right here, where we're walking right here. This is where I hope to have my garden. So I know there's a lot of shade from those trees, but a lot of those are gonna be taken out. So it's all icy because it's cold. And this is all frost and icy. So there it is. There is the septic tank. There she is, girls. <laughs> <laughs> you, you would not get, want to get into that. Yeah. Um, okay, so that truck is not on our property. It's across the way. So you can kind of see it through there. I swear I saw a cow on our property. Yeah, where's the cow? Mom? Okay, let's just walk out to the field and see. This is like, I'm not wearing the right shoes. Not that there really are the right shoes to walk through all this, but it's a little, it's... Not just that it's, um, there's sticker thorns or sticker, what do you call them? Branches sticking out and it's rocky, but it's icy too. So it just kind of makes for not the best day to venture off into the woods. Okay. See the, the cows are on the other side. They're actually not on our property, but they're right on the other side of the of the, um, the, uh, the, the creek. That's what I'm trying to think of. The creek is the, is the property border. So they're right on the other side of the creek. 
my goodness. Okay, so here's our field, and there's the car, and there's the cows right up there. What'd you say? Are there people right there? Where are they? What? On the creek. They're in the creek. Oh, yeah. Are they fishing? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right, so quick little update. I haven't done any real work yet, but the girls have started. Um, we went down to check on the septic tank. You saw that we saw the septic tank, and then we heard the cows really close, so I thought they were on our property, but they actually weren't. And when we went down there, um, our neighbor was in the creek. So we went down and we got to meet her, and then her husband came down a little bit um, after that. So we talked to her, got to exchange phone numbers, which was nice. Um, and we know she told us a little bit more about the area and some of the places that we need to check out. And she just seemed really nice. So we got to meet her and now we're back up here. Um, and the girls and I, the girls are already working and I'm going to help. We're loading up all of the wood from the shed or the part of the shed that was taken down and we're kind of sorting through it. So the good wood that we want to save for a future project of some kind and the wood that is either just broken or not really worth saving. I'm going to go ahead and get started helping the girls and we'll check in, in with you in a little bit. Oh, and also the guys doing the plumbing are here. So Sean's inside with them um, getting the plumbing started and hopefully they're gonna start running some lines here real soon. Hey there guys, um, this is gonna be it for today. Sean is gonna stay behind and still work. Um, one of the guys that's working on the bathroom has gone to get all of the supplies um, that he needs to be able to start the plumbing and the pipes. Sorry, I'm having a hard time talking because my lips are so cold. <laughs> it's still really cold out here. Um, We've gotten some things done. We've gotten some brush uh, cleaned up and um, put in the fire. And Sean's gonna stay and work with them on the plumbing. The girls and I are going back. Um, it is their coming home dance tonight. And so they've got to get home and get ready and get ready to go to that. So we have to cut our day short. So we, but we will be out here tomorrow. Can't really talk. Um, we will, <laughs> We will be out here tomorrow, and we're gonna try to bring some of um, our stuff from our apartment. Um, we're gonna bring our freezer, we're gonna bring um, my chicken brooder <laughs> that we got, and just some of the other um, larger items that we can start bringing out here because we are three weeks away from moving in. So that will be it for today. I love the view behind me, it's just so pretty. Anyways, uh, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. I'll let you know how it's going. All right, see you later. Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday. We're back out here on the farm, and we came out and brought some of our things from the apartment. We brought our freezer um, and the chicken brooder that Sean got picked up for me a few weeks ago. It's been sitting in our garage ever since. Um, that's the food that was in the freezer. Um, so we're gonna load that in. And then there's just some random things in the back of the truck there. Just trying to start unloading stuff from the apartment um, because we have, we I looked at the calendar today and we have to be out in three weeks. So time is getting short. Um, we just got here, Sean checked the traps. What do we have, two, two mice, three mice. So I'm a little over them. They need to get the hint and get out. <laughs> This is our place now. 
Um, so we'll, we will, um, I guess, let them out somewhere else. Um, what else is going on? The guy, uh, one of the, the guys that's helping us with the plumbing, he was here. He, he and Sean were both here late last night. Um, working on that. They got a lot of the pipes run um, and then I think they ran out of some of the fittings they had wrong or something. So um, he, he should be back out here soon. He said he had to stop in to get those um, and they're gonna, he says he's gonna have it all run um, and we should have hot water here soon. So that's really good. Um, our plan is we're going to unload this stuff and then Sean and I have been talking some more about the floor plan of the house. We're still stumped on it. It's just, I don't know. So we're going to, after we unload the trailer or before, I don't know, my feet are cold. Um, I'm being a baby, I know. But anyways, we're going to go in and we're going to kind of just try to talk it all out and just figure out where everything's going because I have yet to say this <laughs> on video because I said it before and said we weren't doing an addition. We're back to doing an addition. So we're trying to kind of map everything out and figure out where we want to do, not where we want to do the addition. We know where the addition is going to go, but what we want to do with this existing house, um, because I think at least right now, can't hold us to anything. Our plan is that we'd like to get the addition started in the spring. So that's where we are. Um, if we nail down anything as far as floor plan goes, I'll share that just because it's interesting to see how many times we change our minds. <laughs> um, but again, we've only got three weeks left, so we've got to start getting this stuff nailed down. At least we know where the bathroom's going and at least that's going in. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get unloaded and I'll check in with you guys later. So we had to pause our moving of the freezer in because of course it won't fit without with the handle on. So the doctor's doing surgery on the handle right there and is going to take the handle off. And there goes the screen door. I'll show you one of the little one of the little rats in here in this trap thingy. You can see them in there. I think the glare from that glass on top. Yeah, he's he's right in the corner there. The other one, we have another one of these. Sean put him by the fire, so he's he's enjoying himself over by the campfire, warming up. Hopefully, he's not catching on fire. I'm gonna go check on. You wanna go check on? I'll go see if he's singing Kumbaya yet. Sure Alright, let's go see if this, this mouse is enjoying his s'mores over here by the campfire. He was, Sean was worried that he was getting too cold, so he decided to bring him over by the fire. <laughs> Hopefully he's not burned up. He's in a tin box by the fire. That sounds smart. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, that's still cold. He's not hot. It's probably a little warmer in there. So we've loaded up the tractor with a bunch of tools and equipment and we are bringing it down to this pole barn down here. Um, 
they're not in the best shape, but they actually keep everything dry. So the only inconvenience that is, is that it's kind of far from the house. So if we need something, it's kind of a pain to have to walk down here. And right now I'm kind of putting my life in my hands because I'm, I'm walking, but I'm not necessarily looking where I'm going. And it's really rocky down here and muddy. It's just not e an easy walk. Um, so we'll be looking at getting one of those mules sometime soon. I don't know. We keep saying that, but you know, we also could use the exercise, I guess. <laughs> so Sean's got the tractor load of stuff in the back there and we're coming down here to this first barn and we'll just use one of the stalls to keep stuff in um, so that we can use the house to keep more of the house stuff. So that's what we're doing right now. inside and I wanted to kind of update you on the plan. Sean and I came in here a few months ago and we talked it out, we worked it out, and I think we've got a good plan. Um, this is the one I'm most excited about out of like the 15 we've had for this place. So let me turn you around and I'm gonna show you what we've decided on. Okay, so when you walk in, so this is the plan right here. We have the two front doors and this is the one we've been using primarily and that's going to stay the front door. Probably gonna get a new front door, but that will be the front door. You're gonna walk in and this fireplace is the double fireplace. So there's one on this side and there's one on that side, even though you can't see through it, it's one chimney going up. So we're gonna keep that, but we're gonna knock out the walls around it. I don't know if we'll have it um, like bricked or something just to add interest to it not exactly sure what we'll do to it but it's kind of going to be a walk around fireplace we'll take out this doorway here and open that up to that room and i'll tell you what that is going to be in a minute and that wall right there on the other side is the stairs going upstairs so we are going to be taking that wall out too and we're going to expose the stairs um i'll talk more about the stairs in a second this right here, which is right now the end of the house, is going to be where we're going to build an addition. And in the addition, um, let's see, Sean measured it out. And I think from right here, from this part of the floor, it's about 25 feet that way. And we're going to make it 25 feet that way. So we're going to do about an 18 foot addition um, through that wall. And that will be a master bedroom a uh, master bath closet, and it will also be a back bedroom. So we're gonna put in, that's where the new bathroom is going, and that will be the bathroom that will be attached to kind of this hallway, but it will also be attached to a new smaller secondary bedroom there. And on the other side of the bedroom will be a closet. Okay, so hope you're keeping up with me here. So now I'm gonna come back in here and I'm gonna take you in here. Again, this doorway is gonna be gone, it's gonna be open. And this is gonna go, this is going to be for the kitchen table, like a breakfast, what do you call it? Like a, I don't know, Eden kitchen area, um, something like that. Anyways, this is going to be the kitchen and this wall right here, because the main part of the kitchen will be on the other side of that wall, it's gonna be gone. So this will be all open here. We will still have this side of the fireplace here, but this closet is going to be part of what's going to be taken out. Sorry about the ladder. So all of that will be open into the other room. You will, like I said, you'll be able to walk around this fireplace and you can have a fire on this side or on the other side. So we'll be able to have a fire here near our kitchen table. That door is going to be taken out and we will either put in a larger window in its place and another large window here or one big window, not exactly sure, but we wanna have enough windows because if you can, you can kind of see what the view is out there. That's the front of the house and that's the, the gorgeous view that we have. So, okay, so now this wall's gonna be gone and this will be where my kitchen will be. Let me see if I can get in here. 
So I think I explained how the layout of the kitchen is gonna be um, previously, and that has not changed for the most part. I'm gonna have the majority of my, uh, this is gonna be where the stove's gonna be, so that window's gonna be closed up. Sink will be over here. I'll probably, we're gonna change out that window, make it a square window, and that will be around where my stove, or sink's gonna be. Um, over here, kind of bleeding into that room will be the refrigerator, double oven, counter, that type of thing. And then I'll have an island, a large island here. Um, Sean doesn't realize how big it's gonna be yet, <laughs> but it will be. Okay, so this fireplace, this fireplace is gonna be coming out. So we're gonna take that out, and in its place, we are going to put a wood stove. So there'll be like the, the pipe that comes down for the wood stove. And the wood stove will be primarily, I think, I, we talked about several different ideas. So I think the last one, um, sorry about my purple gloves, it's cold in here. Um, but anyways, uh, it will be facing the kitchen area. But that'll have a wood stove. And then I think I know, I know in the last video I talked about this powder room. And the only change that we're making to this powder room, because we wanted to open up that front room around the fireplace is we're not gonna blow through this wall anymore to put the sink. Instead, we're actually gonna close up this access to the basement. Um, there's a door outside, and if we really feel like we need to add access inside the house to the basement, we can do that when we do an addition. But what we're gonna do here is, this is where the toilet's gonna go, and the sink, we're gonna do a pedestal sink right here. So it'll be kind of like a little L-shaped um, powder room, but it's gonna have plenty of room. And it will be right here um, underneath the stairs going upstairs. So let me take you over here. Okay, now this door, which we had said before was gonna be a door that was gonna go, someone closed it and I think it's stuck. But originally it was gonna go into the Eden area. Now it's gonna be primarily my pantry, which I'm very excited about. Anyhow, the majority of this will be gone because we're taking out the fireplace. So this will be open as well. And this is going to be kind of the question mark room. We're not exactly sure what this room is gonna end up being. What we talked about doing, see, cause you can see the outline of the stairs there on the wall. So once we take out that and open that up, we may actually come in and turn the stairs to come into this room. That would give us a little bit more room in this front room by opening it up a little bit more. So that's my idea. And then we could do like a little desk nook on the, on the inside there or in here. But this will primarily be a hallway um, for the addition. So when we do the addition, there'll probably be a door right here that will go into the secondary bedroom and maybe a door here going into the master wherever we decide to put that door. So that bathroom, like I said, is gonna stay. This door will be closed up and this now will be my pantry. So it should be a pretty good size. We're, we are gonna extend this bathroom over just a little bit to give it a little bit more space but then all of this area for the most part is going to be my pantry, which yay, I'm super excited about. Um, so um, Jimmy is here. He's working on putting in the um, plumbing for the washer and dryer, which we have over here. And then, so that's what he's working on right now. And then we brought in our freezer, so. So that's the latest plan for what we're doing in here. And I think, um, I think Sean and I are getting ready to go back to Lowe's because we need to get, we got one toilet and one faucet. We needed to get another one for the powder room. So we're gonna do that. We'll probably look for a pedestal sink, see if we find one that we like um, and get those and get them here so that we can start to make some progress there. So. I think that's all for this weekend and we will be back out next weekend and let you know what we what progress has been made over the weekend. I'm really hoping that our septic tank will be ready to be hooked up to by next weekend. So we'll see you next weekend. Thanks for watching.